good morning. I have made the delivery. We are at the pickup location. I've hooked up to our other trailer. Waiting for the system to air up so that I can unlock the trailer axles and move them forward. Uh, currently they're stretch, stretched out all the way to the back. Huh, for some reason that now my silver camera keeps shutting off. I'm going to have to update the software on it. Anyway, going to take Alizé out, then adjust my axles, check out at the guard shack, go to the scale, uh, closest truck stop, scale my load, and then find out how much they fibbed about the weight. According to the bills, it is... Wait a minute, where did I, this keeps shutting off. Like I said, I gotta check it out. So, 42,360 of product, 37020 uh, empty weight, should bring me to 79,380 pounds max. We'll find out when we weigh this thing at the cat scale. In the meantime, we got other things to do. So, I'll be back. Well, we got scaled out. And we are legal. Our weights are 12,400 on the steers, which we're good to go all the way cross country since we're not going to Connecticut. Connecticut's the only state that has a weight limit of 12,000 pounds. Okay. Uh, the rest of them are variable, depending on different laws. Kentucky, 600 pounds per inch of tire width. So you got two times 11 inches times 600 gives you 12,600 pounds. Uh, Illinois goes by weight rating of the tire. Each tire is rated at 6,300 pounds, which gives you 12,600 pounds. <laughs> so it varies from state to state. Some states look at it as a single axle, 20,000 pounds total. Uh, all of them give you a little bit of leeway on each axle. So, anyway, we're 12,400 on the steers, 33,060 pounds on the drives, which means we can fill up our tanks, and 32,400 on the trailer. And right now, we're getting our trailer mud flaps uh, replaced. Alizé keeps watching the guard. <laughs> I mean, guard. I don't know why I'm saying that. Mechanic. Hey, Alizé! So, anyway, we got 2,500 miles to go. Here's our route. I love this thing at night. Let me kill that light right there. That's on the iPad. The heavy blue line is where we're going. We are where the little blue pulsy thingy is. And we're going to run all the way across country to whoop, over here. L.A. area. Matter of fact, let me just zoom that in. And now goes daylight mode. Going over here by where to go? Where to go? Right here, Riverside, California. But instead of coming all the way across 10, we're gonna drop down here. Right here is Casa Grande. This is where Interstate 8 ends on the east end runs in Interstate 10. We're going to come across 8, right, go through Yuma, and here, let me do this, let me switch it to map, regular map mode, standard mode, ta-da, all right, there we go. Now right here, we come up, this is Interstate 8 right here, and we're going to come up this way. Right there is Brawley. Hold on, I'm going to zoom in. Where to go? Where to go? You know, there we go. Right there is Brawley. So what we're going to do is we're going to run out eight, come up through town here, and then we're going to hit 111 and go right along the Salton Sea and come up. We actually get to dodge some mountains that way. All right, turn the lights back on. And go back to me. Whoa, zoom out. Yeah. 
wrong way. <laughs> I don't think y'all want to see me that close. Anyway, we're going to go 8, then up the 111 along the Salton Sea, and come in the back way. Uh, we dodged a bunch of mountains that way. Uh, 10, once you hit California, you got some uh, pretty good mountains along 10, dropping down into Indio, uh, Death Valley, coming out of Death Valley, dropping into Indio and stuff. But if you go across 8, it's a whole lot flatter. It's like the mountains just taper off right there. Once you get past uh, Brawley area, then the mountains get bad on 8, going into San Diego. Oh, oh, here comes a mechanic. Well, we're all done. And now I'm waiting for this Trans Am truck right here. 224710, who's been sitting here parked for 25 minutes already. Waiting for him to get out of the way so I can leave. And while we're at it, I went in and got some surprises for Chris. First, I got her another dress. She likes the sundresses that uh, they sell here. So, I spotted one of another color she didn't have yet. I got it. But... I got her two other things that will really surprise her, and we'll see if she notices in the morning. Alright. First one is, I'm going to have to flip this over here so I can make sure that i got a good look at it. Right here. It's a glass hummingbird. And then the second one, uh, stuck to the dash. Tigger and Piglet. Right next to her dolphins. Now that one dolphin has a broken tail. I think Alizé did it in the truck wash. Yeah, I know. I've got my wires all up and everything need rearranging. <laughs> There's my laptop. That bag's the one that's got her dress in it. That's why it's up there. And Alizé, oh, and Alizé is laying there watching out. Wait for something to come up. Alizé. Alizé. Look at me. What are you looking at? Where is it? Where is it? Do you see it? Do you see it? <laughs> Find it! Where'd it come? Is it over here? Over here? Oh, look at Hi. <laughs> Find it. That's how the dolphin lost his tail. <laughs> oh, Lord. Anyway, that'll do it for right now. And I'm going to let you go. Bye.
It's all swamp below us. On both sides. Well, how do you expect me to keep up with it? Well, you don't want to tell me zoom in. Now I can't find it. What? No. You know, this really is very uncomfortable. everybody we are somewhere in Texas <laughs> uh, County Road 109 <laughs> Interstate 10 exit 372 in just a second I'll tell you what the town is uh, no I won't Ozona we are in Ozona Texas doing morning shift change say hi say bye Hi, bye. Time to close out. 
So, click the like if you like. Do not forget to subscribe. What do you want? What do you want? You say hi. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Like if you like. Don't forget to subscribe. Feel free to share. And we'll see you tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. every day. Have a wonderful day. Bye.